Oh, you're a dark minion, are you? At your service, master. Oh. Murder in the name of Sifis. Yes, master. Whatever you say. Huh. Cool. We're not even joined the Dark Brotherhood yet, but people want to do our bidding. I like it. When we last left the hero Kovach, like and subscribe. We had made our way to Bloodcrust Cavern on the behest of the Count of Skingrad to clear out a vampire lair and subsequently the vampire hunters that were milling around and causing the Count a few issues. It was his territory after all. So we told the vampire hunters where to go, met them there and suitably slaughtered everybody. After such uh, event, we then went back to the Count, who told us that Madame Arco had returned. We gave the news to the Guild and to Traven, or Traven, and were told that we had to wait while he discussed things with the Council. So we took it upon ourselves to head out to, I want to say Breville? Yes, Breville? Where are we? Yeah, Breville. We headed to Breville to find out why Elrond had disappeared, his wife was worried, and he had a bunch of debt that he had accrued and kind of skipped out on the payments a little bit, and she was worried about him. So he tracked down his debtor, an orc, whose name I have forgot, but he sent us on a merry little mission to retrieve some sort of weapon that was an heirloom that summoned how it ended up on an island and he couldn't be bothered getting himself. So yes, we headed to Fort Grief Island where it turned out we'd been deceived. Elrond told us that we had indeed been trapped and were now the prey for a bunch of hunters that were tracking us down. We worked our way through the maze of a fort, killing off the three hunters and retrieving the key. Upon leaving, we saw Elrond be slain and Therefore, we took revenge and struck down the orc, stealing the correct key and finally escaping. We told Elrond's wife of the dreadful fate and she gave us some stuff. I think it was a necklace, but it was kind of garbage. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. It's been a wee while since I played, so I'm sorry, I forgot the names and all that. I remembered Elrond, I couldn't remember anybody else's name. But today, I think what we will do is we will head down and check out this place because one of the things with the game of the year edition was all these extra quests and stuff that you don't normally get deep score and hollow i'm pretty sure is one of them much like battlehorn castle uh, i kind of want to check it out it might be nothing it might be absolute garbage that we can't do anything with but it also might be quite fun so first off the bat let's go to the stables but yeah, I figured if, we, if we're still going to wait a little bit of time, which I think we do... Oh, hey, well, welcome back. Uh, we might have to wait a little bit of time before we can do the next Mages Guild 1 uh, quest. So, while we're here, let's go ahead and... Is there a... No, it's just normal rain. It's not a... It's not an Oblivion Gate type fond of that, I don't think. But yeah, I... I don't think I ever had this quest. I know back when I first played Oblivion, I had Game of the Year with Shivering Isles, but I don't remember this at all. I don't remember Battlehorn Castle. I think all that stuff that was added maybe after the initial Game of the Year edition, maybe it was a, an anniversary one or something similar, I'm not, not entirely sure. But either way, I don't think I've ever done this quest. We'll see if it jogs my memory when we get there, but um, I'm not holding out hope. Right, straight into the ocean, huh? Yeah, straight into the ocean. Alright, cool. Oh, I do wish we could see underwater a little better. That's one thing that, even as an Argonian, not being able to see underwater, it's a bit of a problem. I mean, Night High does help. But it's horrible to record and it's it's not nice for you guys at all. So I try and avoid it. And life detect as well. I try and avoid it where I can because it's just kind of garish. In fact, a lot of the magic effects are, aren't they? I mean we had to change the colour of the the spell for 
light, right? Tidewater cave. Ah, okay, well, we need to grab these. We need 20 of them, I think. We've got one or two in our inventory. Do you want to check this out? Yeah, why not? Don't remember this place. Is it animals in here? It is. Oh, it's a lion. Oh, it's a troll. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, it's a... Uh, is he dead already? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, heal. Is that mountain lion dead or is it just chilling? Is it after our... Oh. We made a friend. Oh, what a nice kitty. Cool. I don't... Why has he got so many calipers? I don't see the... Adoring fan. <laughs> oh god, unless that's him. <laughs> Alright. Oh shit, another one. Oh no, he's back. Hey. So he survived that, I'm surprised. Yeah, we definitely need a shield. Good god. Should have actually probably soul trapped on that one. Let's heal up and then we can get soul trap ready because our, our mace is taking quite a bit of a beating. Well, we're taking a bit of a beating, but it's also distributing a beating. <laughs> right, what, what do we got? Grand, non, non, fala, non that, repair. Let's repair stuff. That's bound to help a little bit. Another mountain lion. Hey. It's after the it's after that guy again. <laughs> wow, cats really hate you. Yes. Oh great. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Just yes. Golly, Follow me. Cool. All right. I want to get this. Lion pelt. I still remember the, the lion pelts from um, Beyond Skyrim. It's so good. Can you follow me through here? Are we going to swim anywhere? Let's do that. Grab our soul trap and then we're ready to take on something. Is it another troll? It is. Fantastic. There we go. So now, I would assume, is there a star greater? Perfect. Yeah, you get the Warhammer too of Overload. What is that? Did we not sell that? Burden. Ah, right. Yeah, we need to sell that. Oh, a bear. They really don't like that guy, do they? It's no wonder he dies so much. There we go. Now, one thing that I am kind of excited for, I mentioned it a little bit in Skyrim this week, is that I have purchased a rowing machine. Uh, as strange as that is. But I'm excited to sort of get back into the fitness thing. It, it, it was going well. It kind of fell off a little bit, and I felt kind of kind of shitty. You know, you, you got to keep your health up, even if it's just something minor. And yeah, I'm excited about it because I do I do enjoy working out. I just haven't really had the the ability slash the motivation because weightlifting, eh, it's all right. But it's not entertaining. Like I, I, I prefer setting goals where it's like I've gone a certain distance, or I've done this, or I've done that. Can't really do that with weightlifting. It's just you've either lifted stuff or you've not. Wolf. Timber wolf. It is a timber wolf. Yeah, we are getting much better on the combat sort of side of things. Oh jeez, this place is weird. Even down here, there is something down here. OK, 
Okay, slaughterfish. Oh wow, we got both of them that quick. Scales, lock, pick, take. Take those as well. Yeah, what is this place? Very strange. Ooh, floor with sapphire, huh? It's nice. So that's, uh, that's everything. Okay. At least the water and dungeons is a little easier to to get through. Which way do we want to go? This way? I guess this way. Someone is chasing us. We have got the music. It is very quiet for some reason, though. Nothing in here. No chest, no nothing. Very odd. Skelly man? A pewter spoon. Interesting. Ladle. Tanja. What is going on here? This is very strange. There's nothing else in here, is there? No. I would assume we've triggered some more swordfish, right? Grand Soul Gem, Topaz, Gold. Yeah, there is another... Oh! Well, I found our touring fan, who's now dead. Where is he? Or did he drown? Doesn't seem to be anywhere that I can see him. Huh. So where the hell did he go? There must be like another way somewhere, right? We must have missed something. Otherwise I don't understand how our adoring fan- Oh! Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. Is our adoring fan actually dead? Because normally we can loot his body for a single gold piece, but uh... Ah, yeah, no. Okay, well we've cleared this area then. Let's carry on to Deep Scorn Hollow. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Strange. But yeah, I don't know, what, what, what sort of things do you personally like to do for fitness? Do you do anything? Do you play sports? Let me know. I used to play soccer. Well, football. <laughs> I've, I've taken to calling it soccer, even though that's not really... As a British person, it's almost sacrilege to call it soccer, but I'm in New Zealand, so... <laughs> what are they going to do? Hunt me down? <laughs> I did. I loved playing soccer. I don't know, I'm just not as competitive as other people, so it doesn't really work well for me. Um, if I was more competitive, I probably would have been a lot better at it. But, yeah. I enjoyed it, it was fun. Nice team sport, met a lot of friends through it. This place is a dump. This place is a, is a shit heap. Inside the hidden lair. This place is an absolute tip. What? What hidden lair? Oh. In here or something. Okay. Down here somewhere. Oh. Well, hello. No, I've definitely not done this. This is perfect for an Argonian. This, this is actually a perfect base for an Argonian. Long forgotten journal. I should read it to learn more about this unusual structure. Sort of fish again. Take that. Force diamond. What's that on top? Pearl. Right. After reading the journal, I've learned that I acquire everything I need to restore this place from Rowley Erdwolf it though. Worn it in just outside the Imperial City. Isn't that the place that gives you the quest for the Slaughterfish, which we do need to do? 
This speaks, Siphus speaks to me. He does not use words, but I can hear his voice. Echoes of darkness spring from his lips and tell me what I must do. The dark brotherhood must be purged of its clean blooded vermin, and a new order must take the reins. The time is nigh for the vampires to claim the right, his rightful place as the true hands of Siphus. I have secured the help of many of my kin, and soon we shall spread like a cold fog through the ranks and make the group our own. Soon Siphus will give the sign, the time will be right, and the crimson scars will strike. Ooh, okie dokie. Alright, we'll leave that there because it's kind of cool. That is a big ass fish. Is it a fish? No, it's, it's a tree root. Never mind, I thought it was a big slaughterfish. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Clearly. This is some sort of vampire lair, but abandoned. I kind of, okay, I kind of dig the aesthetic of having a giant tree root fruit though, but I don't remember a big tree when we came in. What have we got here? Chest, victims, loot, chest. Interesting. Does that mean that every victim we kill for the Dark Brotherhood, we start getting all of the loot delivered? I don't know. Do we make a rule that we can teleport? Oh no, there is a big tree. Do we make a, a rule we can teleport from here, much like that we can teleport from... Oh no, we don't teleport from Battlehorn, do we? Oh, I don't know. Do we want to make a rule? Because it is a bit of a distance there. Do we treat it as though it's like one of the Skyrim homesteads where we can get a carriage? Although I said that we can't get a carriage to it, I think we should probably not do that. And what we should do instead is try and find this inn, see if we can get the slaughterfish quest, and then see if we can afford any of the, the upgrades, because we haven't got any gold at the moment. We spent it all trying to upgrade our skin red house. I think uh, in between episodes I might do a, a little bit of a grinding just to get some gold and stuff. But for now, let's just take a run at this place. What is this standing stone? What do you do? Serpent stone. No stars shine upon the doomstone. Ah! Now I might be remembering wrong, but don't some of those, like, summon enemies and stuff? I'm probably wrong on that actually. I got an Aelid well here. I will take the blessing from that though. It's of course, magic, of course, it's through me, whatever. Power from the well, yes. But yeah, we definitely in the need of gold right now. And we'll find along the way. We've not really been up this coastline, have we? we we've been here because I had to get a bunch of like random flowers for the Mages Guild so they'd let me back in. We've not spent much time on this coastline. In fact, do we want to run up this coastline? Up the riverbank? And see if we can, you know, on, on the way to the Imperial City, because it does lead to the Imperial City, if we can find anything fun along the way. Dark Fathom Cave. We've just been in a cave. We'll, we'll skip the cave for now. What else could there be? Maybe a ruin of some sort? Oh wow, this actually goes very close to, to Leowin. I actually thought there was more of a gap between Leowin and the other place. Huh. Interesting. Maybe we sell some stuff off. No, we need to go to the Imperial City for that. We've got the, the dude who's uh, a little friendlier with us, so we can actually get quite a, a, quite a bit better of a deal. Hello? Has anyone seen me? No. Ha ha! This horse is incredible. I can run faster than this horse. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, I regret stealing you. I'm just going to get off and run. Yeah. Yeah, we are faster. Nice. I suppose we have got a slightly fortified athletics, I think. Yup. I suppose if we go this way, we're probably going to run into the door to the Shivering Isles, right? In fact, where is that? Oh yeah, no, we are quite far away, actually. 
Hmm. Okay, you know what? We will go to Leowin because the other thing we do need to do is talk to somebody at the Thieves Guild. Oh, hello. Bonk. What have we got in these? Hourglass. Apple cheese and rice. Garbage. Cool. Yeah, let's go to Leowin. I don't know who we need to talk to. I can't remember who it was for the Fighters Guild that we need to talk to. But we could probably check the ones in this area, right? In fact, didn't we talk to the ones in Leowin and we definitely know it's not them? I'm pretty sure we've been to the one in Leowin. Okay, we're at the stable, so we can teleport. Do we go to... Let's go to Breville. Because I think last episode we said we were going to check, and we didn't. Yes. Now, where is the Fighters Guild, is the question. That looks like it. Oh, hang on. We've been here as well. These guys don't give a shit about us, do they? Yeah, I'm pretty, maybe we did go, go to ahead, this one and not Leowin. Yeah, well, I've, I've got a feeling. What do you want? Yeah, I've got a feeling You'll it's not something. these guys. What do you want? Yeah. Okay. Take um. Care. Hmm. 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 Sorry. Let's go to this inn, shall we? The stables over here. Then we'll head across to the inn. Actually, no. While we're here, we should actually go to the market district to sell off that hammer that we've got. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, let's see. Merchants Inn. Perfect. Just wait a couple of hours. Hopefully he's up at 6am. He is not. Eh, let's give him another two hours. Oh, there we go. Right. Good day. Hello. I May have I got some shite for you. Would you like wares. to buy the Warhammer of Overload? And it was the Amulet of Absorption, wasn't it, that we wanted to get rid of? Because it affects our healing spell as well. I'm going to sell it. do with the gold. Gold trim shoes, do we need those? Red silk hod, do we need that? We don't need any of these, I don't think. Don't know why I've actually got them. Cure disease, we've got quite a few of those. Let's sell a bunch. That's a good deal. Cure poison, cure paralysis, charisma. We'll get rid of that. We've got a spell for it. We've got that. We'll sell some of these. Healing we will keep. I might sell all of our ingredients apart from the Nern root. You got a great Keep those. Spot of touch. I don't want to sell that. I think that's unique. Vala stones we can sell. Right, I think we're good and we might actually be able to afford some stuff now. Right, right, right. Okay, so let's go over to the stables. Oop. There we go. Make our way to the inn. Wait. Yeah, it is that way. I don't think I've ever been this way before. Kind of strange to think that this, of all the Aelid structures, is the one that has survived, I guess, the longest? Everything else has fallen to, to ruins. You'd think that more people would come with, you know, like, with all the stuff that goes on in the Elder Scrolls, all the little battles and things like that, you'd feel like some people would come in and go, right, well, we're going to make this ruin our home for our, our entire people and, you know, redo everything up, you know? Make it make it make it look nice again. 
Is it you that does the sort of fish stuff? You know, stranger, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight. Well, I've fought and I've lost. Who did I lose to? Who is my great enemy? Oh, don't laugh. It's a bunch of damn fish. <laughs> Sorry, I did laugh. Laugh in his face. <laughs> ah, see, I knew you'd laugh. Some big hero you are. You're all the same. <laughs> Nothing to do but laugh at an old man and his troubles. I'm sorry, man. Come back to laugh at the path. Oh, do we not get a quest if we don't? If we do. Oh shit. Uh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to miss out on a quest. Ah, oh, god. Are we gonna sell stuff again? No, because we waited inside. So this is actually fine. All right. You know what? Let's just teleport there. Let's not laugh in his face then. Let's be kind. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Hey! You know, stranger, who did... How can I help? Go on and... La Wait. Help? Oh, well then. I'm a fisherman. Or at least I was. Until one of those slaughterfish damn near took my leg off. I was collecting their scales, see? I had a contract with this young alchemist. We just sold a bunch. what he was paying for those scales. Then, last month, one of the bastards got a hold of my leg. Took me right out of the business. But this alchemist, he needs the scales right away. About the scales? The alchemist was paying so much for the scales that I'm close to having enough saved so oh, that I can retire. Oh, we gotta help him. <laughs> we were such a dick but before. now, I can't get out there to the lake. Not with this leg. I only needed 12 more scales. Can you believe it? I was so close. I've picked up a few things in my travel. If you head out there and bring me back the 12 scales that I need, I can make it worth your time. Yeah, all right, we Help can do that. fisherman out, won't you? Sure, sure, sure. We can do that. Let's actually make that our active quest, shall we? So we could head out here, have we? Should be fairly easy, right? I don't remember them being like mega tough. Uh. Oh, okay, it's a bit tougher. Oh, adult Rumari slaughterfish skills. Okay, cool. Twelve more, huh? The problem is we can't see underwater. So my guess is they're probably just like hanging out around here somewhere, right? Near near the middle of the island. No? We've got some combat music. Yeah, outside of the dungeons, like seen underwater is just a nightmare. There you are, come on. Gotcha. It's two, ten to go. My only wish here was if the a few more of these sort of fish were grouped up, it would feel a bit more of a, a challenge. Plus, also, you wouldn't really feel like it's such a long quest. For us, it's going to seem like it's ages because we're fighting them one at a time while recording. Come on, where are these buggers? Must be all over this side then. Because there's nothing kind of beyond that point, is there? So is it just random luck as to where they are, or do they have designated spawn spots? See there, that's a dead one, isn't it? That's the one we fought. Yeah, it's dead. Right, let's go this way. I 
and hope we find something. Maybe we need like night eye or maybe we need life. Uh, was it seek life or whatever? Life detect. Have we got a spell for that? Detect life. Yeah, there we go. We need that. Hundred and fifty feet. That should be enough, right? There's one. Come here, you little prick. Okay, that's one done. There's one. There's two. Oh, it's a crab, is that? No, it's a, it's a swordfish. Cool, another one down. That's a crab, okay. Another crab. Boop, right. What the crap are these fish? Maybe 150 feet isn't as long as uh, a distance as I thought it was. So we don't seem to spot anything around here. Nope, nothing. Still nothing. And I guess it wouldn't be further than this point, right? Hmm. Okay. Still nothing down here. This is going to be a really boring quest. I don't know if we want to do all this right now. I mean, how many have we got? Like four or five? That's a lot of just... Dicking about. Hmm. Maybe they're down deep. Like deep underwater. Ah! Okay, we might be onto something here. So they're all in this area, but they're all in like random places deep down. Very glad we can breathe underwater. This would be a pain in the ass if it wasn't for that. Okay, any more? The. Perfect, we're getting there. Okay, so this might be a little bit quicker now. Oh, they flop around when they're out of water. I didn't know they did that. Ha! Huh. Cool. Very nice. There's another. Yeah, this is much quicker now. How many have we got now of these stupid things? Okay, you know what? Let's uh, switch to heal. Let's get a bit of health back. I'll get that one again. And what was it? Wanted ingredients, wasn't it? Oh. Okay, seven. We've got five more to go. I feel like we are kind of missing the point of this. Maybe there is something more to it, like a, an actual logical pattern. Because we do seem to be struggling to see diddly squat. I can't see them being that low down all the time. Maybe they just like randomly spawn after a while. Okay, that's another one. Because yeah, we've been in this area, we didn't see it before. So maybe they just randomly spawn, you've got to like leave the area, come back.
Hmm. I don't know. Can we, be, can we be bothered doing the rest of this right now, or do we want to come back to it? Maybe I'll do that in between episodes. Just grab the scales, but not actually turn it in. Because, oh god, we're going to level out of that. Boo. I don't think we've got enough of the other skills leveled up. You know, we'll leave that for now. I want to check out this, uh... This upgrade for Deep Scorn Hollow. So let's actually switch our journal back to the other one then. Go talk to whoever we need to talk to here. I can't remember. If you if you get the level up thing but you don't sleep and you instead go train, I think you can. I think you can sort of like get that up to the plus fives. Can you? Oh, is it you we speak to? Hello. You need something special? Check out my wares. You won't find this stuff at your local general store, that's for damn sure. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, what do we got? Actually, let's, before we do that... Always uh, the of Sithis. There we go. You need right. something special? Yes, I want to persuade you. I'll take that, and take thank that. you very much. And what are you Knowledge training? is power. Oh, okay, sneak. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Interesting. Hammerfell shield. Paralysis. Interesting stuff. Cool. Have we got actually enough gold? We've got enough gold for two. But we can maybe get a little bit more out of this. So let's go up to... Let's try high. We'll try 70 and then go from there, right? So would you sell me that? No deal. I can't have... You've got to be... That's just... Come on. There we go. What else can we sell to maybe get another one out of that? This short sword, maybe? We're not using it at the moment. We might as well. Oh, we do have a shield. Oh, God. <laughs> Here I am going, oh, we need a shield. I forgot we had that. <laughs> okay, right. What else can we sell? One of these, maybe? Sell two of those. Still not got enough. Solid. Let's sell both of those. I kind of want more of the uh, deep scorn stuff. Dark minion. Oh, we've just got enough. Garden receipt, dining area, storage area, study area. Let's get the dark minion. You bought that. Come back. Okay, so we've got some good stuff. Let's go check out Deep Scorn Hollow and uh, what we've picked up from there, right? Check that one there. Do we want to... We'll fast travel to Leowin and then we'll walk again. But I want to see if we've got... If we have actually been to the Fighters Guild here because isn't the Fighters Guild in Leowin like a really big building? Like it's kind of fancy. We'll check it out. We've got the time. And yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut the rest of the Swordfish scales in between episodes because, honestly, it's kind of dull. <laughs> it's just me in, in a blue screen. You can't see squat. Um, it's not you. It's one of these, isn't it? Where is the Fighters Guild? It's got the local map. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so we kind of kind of went past it. It's this one. But is this the place where you start? It feels like it would be. It's the one of the biggest Fighters Guild halls, if not the biggest. I'm trying to think where else would be big. Bruma, maybe? Hello. What do you want? Oh, we have we have been Good in day. here. Okay, so it's not Breville, it's not Leowin. Right. Actually, let's go back there, back to them. We'll just go to the stables and then run. How bizarre. Okay. Is it always stormy down here? It always feels kind of stormy. We are close to Black Marsh, aren't we? Oh, we're going the wrong way now. God damn it. We want to turn around and go that way. Let's see if we can 
find out by the end of the episode what we've actually purchased because I, I'm interested about the dark minion because it would be nice to have a little friend along and if it's somebody that we can I don't know pay 2,600 gold to replace them every time they die might be useful might also be useful for us to grab a healing spell so we can heal allies so heal on touch or whatever we can make one of those and it would take us back to the mages guild as well uh, okay, we can check out if they have deliberated with the council. Yeah, we are kind of getting there. It'd be nice if it wasn't dark. Can't wait while there's enemies nearby. See yourself. I do wonder, if they remake this game, will they make the map bigger? Because it is smaller than Skyrim, and I think in law, Cyrodiil is bigger than Skyrim. So now that they've got like the ability to do a bigger engine, would you populate it more? Would you add more stuff, or would you keep it as is to remain, to, to kind of keep the nostalgia? Personally, I feel like it'd be good to, to add a bit more to it, right? Make the map bigger, make the dungeons bigger, make the make everything bigger. Trees bigger, I don't, I don't care. Just make everything bigger. Big is good. As Mitre 10 Mega used to say. Right. That's going to make no sense to anybody outside of like New Zealand. Can we... Okay, we can. Jump over this way and go around. I don't know what's trying to get us, but uh, good luck to it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, here we go. Deep Scorn Hollow is here. Dining room, dark minion, and what else did we get? Some other bullshit dining area, probably. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. There we go. Yeah, let's check out what we've got, eh? So the main entrance has not been done up. This has not been done up. I'm guessing that's a storage area, though. This looks more like it's been done up. Cloister. Uh, I don't actually know what it's supposed to look like. I should have probably looked around beforehand to see what it was supposed to look like before and what it looks like now. Activate Font of Renewal. Only a vampire. Oh. Oh, so if you play as a vampire character, this place has a bunch of added benefits, like a free zombie arm and darkest darkness. Free skull. Excellent. What is this this way then? The Bastion. Oh, you're a dark minion, are you? At your service, Master. Oh. Murder in the name of Sifis. Yes, Master. Whatever you say. Oh, huh. cool. We're not even joined the Dark Brotherhood yet, but people want to do our bidding. I like it. Oh, we've got a neat little throne. Oh, and it's not a throne, it's a coffin, a sleeping coffin, no less. <laughs> you know, padded for comfort. Nice reading material. <laughs> it is it is a fancy coffin. I will give it that. It is fancy. It does feel a little wasted on us, though. Okay. Nothing in here? No? Oh, something in there. I will take those, actually. Okay, kind of garbage stuff. The shrine... And a little garbage area here. Let's check out the shrine. Oh, the shrine is not looking good. Okay. 
Oh, shit. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I think that is going to be our screenshot. <laughs> that is cool. So what do we do here? Is this Cephas? I guess that's Cephas. Oh, Ikor of Cephas is required to activate the altar. Nightshade's just falling. Okay, that's interesting. So if we go full evil, which I mean we could potentially do, then we've got a whole bunch of extra options for us. This takes us out. Where does this go? Oh, wait, where, where is this? Oh, it's hidden by the rocks. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, what did we buy? Let's have a look at our items here. We bought Dark Minion, Cattle Cell, and Bedroom Area. So is the Bedroom Area that coffin? Because I feel like I've been ripped off a little bit for that. And where have we been here? We've been everywhere in here, haven't we? I think so now. I think we've been everywhere in here. Deep Scorn Hollow. Oh, this will be the cattle cell. Hello. Are you cattle? You cannot wake the prisoner. Yeah, so he's just a place where we can feed whenever we want to. That's kind of cool. Hello. Leowin shield. Interesting. Guessing the guards maybe took a tumble here. So what else do we have in here? We went in here, that's the storage area. So one out this way? No, there's not. So all in all, there's... Oh, hello. This is slightly different. Ah, oh, very nice. Blood paintbrush, can we pick that up? No, we can't. Footlocker. Gold, I'll take that. So this is where our dark min minion sleeps, huh? Alright, well... Ah. Huh. I guess this might be where we leave the episode for this week, and in between episodes I'm going to do a bit of training. I'm going to try and get the rest of Deep Scorn kind of kitted out, looking nice and flash, so we can kind of show that off next episode. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now. Is it pond scum?